Hello there, this is Andreas Richter, CTO from Plister, speaking at the Tech Open Air 2015 in Berlin. Today I have Nora Kaldi here from um, Nuritas, a company specialized in? Um, it's a company specialized in uh, looking at food at the molecular level using artificial intelligence to develop new therapeutic ingredients for human health. So people hearing artificial intelligence and food in one sentence might get afraid. So how does the AI help you? Yeah, well, traditionally to find ingredients that help human health by enhancing um, certain condition, for example, reducing or regulating sugar glucose uh, in the blood uh, for diabetics or pre-diabetics, usually takes years and millions to develop those ingredients. Um, so what we have done is develop an artificial intelligence technology that does it really quick and efficiently. So it goes into the food genomes uh, and it goes through them, slides through them basically, and it identifies the molecules within the billions of molecules in food. It identifies the subset of molecules that have the best hit in terms of how likely they are going to regulate sugar glucose in the blood, for example. How do you actively use that information? So you, you, you find the molecules, uh, but how does it reach the end consumer? Yeah, it's interesting. So our, our um, technology allows us to go from you know pure software, artificial intelligence, to an, a real physical ingredient that's going to transform someone's life. Um, and how we do that transition is really by first identifying the, mo the subset of molecules in food that have that health benefit. And then we basically develop them in the lab. We take the source food that we found them in uh, and we, we, we kind of break that source food to release the activity and that's really the final ingredient. So um, when, the so when we take the source food initially it's inactive, it has no activity and then basically through knowing what exactly we want to find in the food, what exactly we're focused on, we can focus on that area and take it out and, and activate the source material. So at the end is an end ingredient with ha which has therapeutic qualities to it. So it's kind of um, AI analyzed smart food that will ultimately benefit the health of people? Totally, yeah. So these, these ingredients that we're developing are going to go into many products around the world. Um, uh, for example, they can go into personal care for anti-aging. Um, so you get your anti-aging cream with our peptides. So these molecules that we find are called peptides within. Uh, you'll get a cereal bar for pre-diabetics and diabetics that would help them regulate or manage their diabetes. Uh, every day they'll take a cereal bar and that would, with our ingredients within, that would allow for that. And then other things like, for example, a shake you could drink with that would help your gut uh, or in intestines um, reduce in terms of inflammation again with our ingredients within. So what are your focus fields at the moment? Yeah, we have four focus fields and these really were based on major needs in the world and, 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 um, and basically there's, there's very little out there that, that competes and, and very hard to find those types of ingredients. These are um, inflammation, so inflammation is at the heart of every disease and if you start with inflammation it goes into chronic and then it turns into a disease, so you need to really keep your, your inflammation in check. The second thing is antimicrobials or preservatives, so things that are going to kill a certain type of bacteria that's harmful, pathogenic to humans. Uh, again, there's a huge problem with um, uh, bacterial resistance and there's a huge need to find novel ways of killing bacteria w without, giving them without allowing them to resist. Uh, and our ingredients are perfect for that. And then the third one, um, I'm, I'm going on, but the th third one is um, sugar uh, regulation in the blood for diabetics, pre-diabetics, um, and also muscle recovery, um, and, and, and that goes with the diabetes, and then anti-aging as well, which is a huge problem, but most of the population is aging. So with diabetes, it means I can eat, if I have diabetes, the, the cake, and don't need to worry anymore? Um, it's not about, it's, it's yes, well, well, we'll go back really, the ingredients we're making are, are extracted from food, so they're food grade natural ingredients with zero side effects because they're food grade and we have developed, we have kind of co-developed or eaten those type of foods for many years, so our bodies doesn't react to them as it would to a drug for example, um, but it's not about allowing people to eat more or allowing people to have more sugar, it's really about um, uh, helping them manage uh, uh, something that will get if they're pre-diabetic or something they, 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 are, they have now which if they're diabe be, uh, diabetics. It's not to allow them to eat more, it's really to manage their condition. So Tech Open Air 2015, um, 
What was your talk about especially? Um, my talk was about Neurotas, about using artificial intelligence uh, to enhance human well-being in terms of nutrition. Um, so that was really about it and I explained, you know, that uh, lots of people in the world don't know this area, um, I guess. Um, it's, it's new, it's groundbreaking, um, it's, um, it's disruptive compared to what exists out there, which is totally random approaches to testing things. Uh, so um, it was educational, it was showing people that this exists, that in the future they'll be eating something with our ingredients within to enhance their health and, and well-being. I think um, that's a huge benefit of the tech open air that it's so multidisciplinary and uh, that that we have the chance to tap into these fields uh, at this conference, uh, yeah. which are not so well known than others. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So, so I, I've seen a few talks down there, and, and some of them were about you know helping people around the world in terms of education. Um, some of them were about events. Um, so it's really yeah, it's really interesting to see other technologies um, and, and also interesting to see what they're using in terms of you know, novel algorithms, etc., that we might use in the future as well. So, um, was there special questions after your talk? Uh, because we have those different kinds of people. Was it interesting for you as well? Yeah, actually, yeah. The, 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 the questions were about, and you can see the business side, they were more about, you know, how would you, um, how do you sell your ingredients in terms of, um, do you sell or does someone, does a partner sell your ingredients? And we explained that we, we only discover and, and then license the ingredients to companies that sell for us. Um, but also some of them were, you know, uh, relevant in terms of biology, like, you know, um, are these ingredients going to go into pharma in the future as well, uh, which would be s for some the case. Um, so yeah, so, so again, it's a multitude okay. of different questions. So it emphasizes a little bit on the German aspects, like strict go-to-market, how to bring it in the yes, world, and yes, also yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the more English-speaking audience that looks into the implications. Yeah. So uh, what else, despite this multidisciplinary and, uh, and, and the, the vast uh, topics we cover, do you like about TOA? I think um, there's, there's a few things. First, well, um, Berlin, it's nice to be in Berlin. Um, it's nice to be, um, and it's good weather. It's not raining, which is good. Where are um, you from exactly again? Uh, Dublin, Ireland. Yeah, so, uh, but it was nice there as well today. So uh, I think I like the fact that, um, well, it's a group of young, ambitious um, people uh, all wanting probably to build companies and, and succeed as well. And they're there just wanting to learn. Um, so that's great. Um, I think the fact that there's multiple disciplines as well, which we talked about, um, is very interesting because, again, you you, um, you you just open your mind. You just think in, think differently coming out of these talks. Um, so yeah, so th those. So Tech Open Air is here to stay. So think about TOA in uh, 10 years. Uh, what do you think is the relevant topics that uh, might be covered, especially in your field? So I'll, I'll talk about my field. I wouldn't really know about the other ones. Um, in my field, um, at the moment, we're focused on four areas, like I mentioned. But um, in the future, we'll be focused on many more. Um, and that means that in, in a few years' time, it will be all about real personalized nutrition. So you come with your own genome, your own phenotype, your own genotype, and you want to know, given the conditions I will have in 30 years' time, can I start now eating something, eating certain types of ingredients that are going to prevent me from getting that? Um, and this is where we're building, building towards. So the, the database we have now is... A, we know we went through about 280 billion molecules so far. We understand how they interact with the human body. Um, and we're building on that to grow, to be really the Google of food. So um, telling people what exactly they should be eating to prevent. And um, I'm a little bit worrying about social divides. So will it, at the end, uh, uh, be for only rich people? Yeah, that's a very good question. And, and, and really, I think it's, it's a very interesting question because um, the first thing I did when I first started was the, re the, the and that's why we work from fo food co-products. Um, drugs are very expensive and they can't go everywhere. So we're focused on finding ingredients within co-products that have value, that have no value now. So by that we create something that is, that is um, uh, cost effective, that can be used anywhere. Um, and that can be used in Africa, as it can be used in Europe. Uh, because, again, it comes from something that currently has no value. 
that we're maximizing uh, in terms of maximizing food use, but also creating something that is cost effective and can help people around the world. That's, that's a super good vision. So Thank last but not least, how would yeah. you describe um, TOA Tech Open Air in three words? Um, I'll, I will I'll describe it for myself as technology. I think technology is, a, is, a, is a, a, the word, first word. Um, mo um, we'll put it in one word. Let's say this is one word. Multiple disciplines uh, together. Um, and yeah, it works. Yes. Uh, and then young, I think. Um, young, multiple disciplines, disciplines. technology. technology. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah, Nora. Thank you, Thank Thanks you very for much me. for watching. This was Tech Open Air 2015 in Berlin. Thank you.